What's up, guys? Welcome back to Rise of Elevate Podcast. And for interview 68, yes, I got the local Charleston legend, Poor Evans. And y'all been asking for it. And like I said in the promo, I'm going to bring it to you guys. So thank you guys for being patient with me. Because like I said, I've had maybe... What, I've had 10 people message me to be like, yo, get poor on there. Like, we got to hear about the, the Charleston Cypher. We got to hear about what she been doing behind the scenes okay. and just everything. So, again, let me introduce her because this is, I'm, I'm nervous. I ain't even going to cap. Poor <laughs> Evan. Thank you for coming on, seriously. It's been an me. honor being able to do everything off scene with you and um, just finally meeting you because, like I said, or not even like I said, but we talked about it off air. Um, I messaged her when I first started because, like, I'm shout out to like Mugga Man, um, a bunch of uh, people that I've known. They were like, yo, you need to do her because she's doing stuff too. Like, you've done like a lot of stuff in mm -hmm. Charleston. Like, I can't even honestly name it because I could go on and on. Yeah, so the introduction was fire. I'm sorry. I had to do it. Um, but how have you been? How have you been? I've been good. I've been good. Laying low. Yeah. But I've been real good. That's good. You have to. Um, especially because, like, I feel like the world we live in, it's like, what's going on? You know I what know. I mean? It's, it's scary crazy. out here. So, um, you know, I do want to say thank you again for coming on. Thank you for having um, me. It's been a privilege, like I said. And um, let's start off with the basic, the Google Gaga. I say it every time. Um, where are you from? Where were you born? I'm North Charleston, South Carolina. North here. Charleston. Okay. I'm North Charleston. Do you, like, enjoy that? Is that something, like, you would represent when you go out of state or even country? Yeah, I love my city. Like, yeah. I love North Charleston. What I do love you love Charleston. about it? Like, I love the way we talk. I love like knowing everybody. Um, it's a good setting to me. Like yeah. besides the bullshit, but it's it's cool to me. Right, and especially being like, how do you feel about the whole Geechee lane? Like, is this something you feel is underrated, or like, do you feel like it's not that appreciative? If that makes sense, like, because a lot of people and not around the world really appreciate Geechee music. Right. If that may, if that may, you know. Yeah. But they appreciate the culture though. Yeah. So why are they not matching the same energy with that? So what do you feel about that? I know we're changing it up a little bit because I do want to talk about elementary school and all that. But I wanted to ask before you know we just refreshing the mindset. So. Um, I don't know. I just feel like they just need to give us a chance. Like, yeah. that's just it. What's like, some other Geechee artists that you kind of think are like the the face of Geechee and like rap? Um, who's Geechee? Like, everybody from downtown. Like, yeah. Yada, Killer Skip, um, Backwoods have like, they Geechee. Yeah. Like, I'm just okay. curious, especially yeah. you know, when people want to hear it from poor, right? Yeah, you like, we all Geechee though, but yeah. everybody sound a little different because it's like, no Charleston Geechee is where it's actually Geechee. It's downtown Geechee. Like, everybody sound different, but everybody, like, still Geechee. Yeah, that's cool. I, mean, I think it's not even just impressive, but the fact that, like, where there's a community of people that support each other, too. Right. It's like y'all do support each other. We need to get bigger. Like, yeah. I need, we, we, you know, Charleston got to put the pedal on the metal with the music industry and really get this on the map because it takes one person you know and then after that it's boom um so let's dig back into go back in the future or back in the past a little bit because um i i just had to ask those questions in that moment um but where'd you go to elementary school at um ronnie magnia elementary okay and then i went to Mellon park elementary wow was this something like you remember the most at that time like maybe your music started then like the passion for music or um, maybe your fame, like, because you are very popular, so, like, maybe that came in around middle, elementary school or something, you know? Do you remember elementary anything? school, I was real shy, so, like, my music didn't come from elementary school. Like, yeah. I was still trying to figure out who I was at elementary school. Like, I was real shy, like, right now you wouldn't be able to get a conversation out of me. I would just smile, like, yeah. I was really, really shy in elementary school. Right, and I was, I, I was too, but I still, like, I'm not going to lie, especially in PE, I told somebody in one of my other interviews, like, I fell out the finishing line in third grade. Um, it was a, like, I could have won, but I lost. Right. And my knee scraped up, asthma attack, and, like, like some people look at that as, like, wow, that's a crazy moment, but it was, like, a moment that I learned, like, you're supposed to lose. Right. You're not going to win every time, right. you know? So that's why I asked that. I, I actually never really explained why I asked why, uh, where did you go to elementary school, but it's very important, especially in our lives, you right. know? Um, so let's dig into middle school. Where did you go to middle school at? Um, Alice Bernie Middle School. Okay. I think I've heard of that. Where's that one at? It's like on Star Road. Like, okay. Like, like that way. Yeah. All and right. I went to um, Austin Middle School too because we wound up moving like wow. in like seventh grade. Wow. That's dope. I think I know a lot of people that went to Austin Middle School. I went to DeBose and Greg. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I think um, it's a small 
area like do you think charleston in general is small like, very like you'd very. be surprised just pumping gas and looking to your left who that person knows that everybody that you, you know very, so very um you know i think it's cool so how was like high school though where'd you go to high school um some of them high school then yeah, i went to give hands okay. alternative hey <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about yeah school. <laughs> high school is, ugh. Hey, Give Hands is lit though, and um, Somerville was awesome. Did you like finish out there? Did you like go anywhere else after Somerville? Mm -mm. No, no. Yeah, I feel you. It'd be like that because um, Somerville is crazy, man. I, I remember Somerville like the back of my hand, especially the fights that were in the cafeteria. Yeah. That was probably the most memorable because if you went to Somerville High School within like maybe, um, you know, you know the dates. It just it was crazy. Um, so that's cool. What did you do in high school? Did you do anything like? um like uh music or like you know step or like you know what i mean anything in that realm were you doing anything in high school no i was just like and some of them some of them for like ninth grade year, but not even the whole ninth grade year because i probably was one of the fights in the cafeteria oh, and i got no. kicked out <laughs> with the givens yeah. and then the givens we didn't have like all that like is that when your life changed yeah I mean, like, keeping it a buck. I know it sounds deep to ask, but, like, is that when, like, your life kind of, like, you know, you just started thinking about life more serious, or? Uh, no. No. Give Hands was, like, alternative school, but then we get out at 1 o'clock, so it was just, like, uh, I took that serious neither. I should have. Like, high school, like, that's my biggest regret. I didn't finish high school. I didn't take it as serious as, like, I should have. So, like, around that time, like, you know than the boys bullying like fighting like right. stuff like that so like that's my biggest regret high school no i feel that what would you um not say like suggest but give uh maybe a girl or even a, a male um advice on something in high school if they were in high school currently watching this like what is some advice you would give them finish school because it's very important like the jobs like you have to finish school to work a career that you want to do because if you don't finish high school you'll be working at like not saying that you will be working at like fast food because that's not true but then like finishing school is very important because I always wanted to be an OBGYN so by finish school I would be getting paid for something that I love doing versus like something that I'm forced to do so like finish school is really really important to finish school yeah I agree good advice um because uh, me personally I almost stopped like I was going through a lot in my life you know I was basically borderline homeless and on drugs at the time but I changed the script you know what I mean right. that's why I wear this shirt I will shout out to young Deji he signed a uh, Wiz Khalifa okay um shout out to him he made a song called i will and at the time i was like i will make i will change the world and uh, you know i feel like that right there is a way to change the world if people would understand and especially hearing it from a local legend like you right um you know take school seriously Very please serious. don't give up you know sometimes like you want to give up and your parents may not understand you or because you got to understand they're going through stuff too um, I don't mean to like flip the whole interview, but you're you know fine. what I mean. Fine. I'm, to... I'm so like, you're I'm, fine. I'm all with the kids because that's my biggest move right now. So after high school or even just high school experience, would you learn more? Like, did you learn more about like who you were? Like, is that when you started to find yourself? Because I mean, I feel like you found yourself now. You definitely have that like drive and and that ego to like. You don't care what nobody thinks about you. You're always going to be yourself. Right. Um. You even in you hear it in your music. Like you don't care. Like. I don't want to sound like a thing, but we all know female runs the world. Definitely. So, like, that's the ego I get from you. So, right. like, where did, th where did that start? Like, where did that came from? Um, probably, like, after I dropped, like, my first song. But after me dropping, like, fuck it up, like, it was like, I got the bad, I got the good. But then, like, I used to talk to people on the phone, my friends, my family, be like, fuck who said why? Like, just say what you want to say in the studio. Like, don't hold back. So, like, afterwards, like, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna see what these bitches be thinking, like, and then I had, like, a lot of females write me, like, oh my god, you my enemy, like, the stuff that you rap about is the stuff that I want to say, but I'm scared to say it, so, like, that pushed me to be like, fuck it, just go in, like, see what keep the fuck going. you want to say, like, yeah. yeah, like, keep going. Okay, and what year, if you don't mind me asking, what year was it when you dropped your first single? Um, I want to say... 2020 wow okay. 2020 so or 2019 it wasn't too long ago oh that's awesome so like um you know what gave you the thought of like even getting into the studio or even getting the drive was it i know you kind of explained it earlier but like i wanted to kind of hear like a backdrop story like what was your first experience in the studio um i've been rapping for so long like a lot of people that know okay. me know i could have rapped since middle school like we used to be on three way just rapping like just for fun though just for fun okay and then like my grand my uncle them they had like a studio in the closet at my granny house i used to just go there and like do little songs i had a song on my mama laptop like wow. when i was in middle school but i can't like she don't have that laptop no yeah. more so like i used to just go to my granny house like do songs and then like one day 
I was on the phone with this boy who I used to talk to, and I used to tell him, like, you know, I can rap. He was like, you can't rap. Like, you cannot rap. I'm like, watch. I'm going to the studio tomorrow. I'm going to sing you the song. Like, I really can rap. He was like, okay. So then I went to the studio. I did fuck it up. I sent it to him. He was like, you fucking can rap. Like, he been telling me, like, you really can rap. I'm like, I'm not playing. Like, I really can rap. I really, can. really, like, sitting yeah. on it. Like, yeah. And I feel like that's something that a lot of people do is, like, they doubt themselves. I'm not saying I don't right. know if you were, but oh, at I the did. time. <laughs> I definitely I mean, did. Yeah, it's just how it is, though. And you got to have people in the back that that are like, keep going, keep going. Don't give up. Right. You know, which is cool. Um, Who do you shout out to now that you kind of give inspiration to for keeping you going? Like, is there people that you, you want to be able to live life without? You know what I'm saying? And for son. me, it would be my, my girlfriend. And my, yeah, yeah, my family and my son. Okay. I just want to be like the stepping stone for everybody. Like, help them get to where they got to go. Like, not just like, oh, we're going to love off my rap money. No, we're going to get the rap money. And then you're going to be able to do this. You're going to be able to do this. You're going to be able to. Like, I'm going to invest to where like everybody going to eat. Like, that's just what I want to do. Right. I just want to make it easy for like everybody. Like, this is what I want to do. So when you do boom, because you are going to boom, what's the first thing you do want to kind of like take seriously? Because now that you will have more time to do things, which I give it by the end of this year, you boom. Um, like, what do you think is something that you're going to be focused on more and more? Music time, more family time? Because some people change it up, you know what I mean? So what do you think you're going to focus on when you boom? Like music time. Yeah. Like family too. Like I got my family about music because I want to keep it going. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be the one like, Come in and yeah, wine hit, wine yeah, hit. Like you yeah. have to keep it going and keep attention. So like music, like I really gonna. Are you gonna say hit. like you ever thought about not being Gucci in your music? No, I'm gonna say Gucci. Like I can't talk Gucci. Like I'm gonna be yeah. Gucci like for the rest of my life. Like right. I just had to ask because if you were to say no, I'd be like. No, no. <laughs> you better stay. Oh like, no, I'm a stay You gotta represent, but you also gotta network. You gotta collab. Right. You gotta right. do like, um, not trying to be weird, but look at Ice Spice. Like she went from being just doing stuff by herself, um, to just doing stuff with like Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, like, yep. and they're two different. You know right. what I mean? So you just have to network. So I think I give you full props. I love to hear that. Um, so like I do want to talk about the Charleston Cipher though. Like when was that brought up? Because you are the maker of everything, right? Mm -hmm. Like you're the background of every. Like so, how was it brought about? Were you just chilling with some girls and stuff like that, and y'all just came up with it? Like let's all do one big cipher. Or did you think of it by like driving or like when did it? What happened? Um, like in Charleston, we don't have a lot of females collabing because it's like it's always drama. Like me, I'm the type of person I always say like I'm not collab with no female. Like I don't want to collab with no female. I want to collab with males, males, males. But like at the time, like we didn't have like really no females collabing, and like I had noticed like a bunch of dope artists like this person got a different sound, and then like if you notice on the side, but like I say, none of us sound alike. So it's like this person got a different sound, this person got a different sound. So how I did it was like. I'm like, okay, I want to do a female cypher. I, I originally wanted to do, like, 13 girls. Like, I didn't care how long the song was. But everybody was like, you can't do it that long because it's not going to, like, get it. And you know it's going to mess up people's attention. So, like, I'm like, okay, boom. I'll just do, like, 10. So, like, when we was doing it, I was saying, like, I'm going to do, like, a freestyle. Because a lot of people write me, like, I want to be on the cypher. I want to be on the cypher. Like, girls, I never knew rap. Like, was like, I want to be on it. So, I'm like, okay, I never hear you rap. So, like, let's just do a challenge. And then I wanted to be fair. So, I was like, let me let the people judge versus me. Because if I judge, it would be like, oh, well, you already got Which your people. But you did, like, what, six or seven snippets, right? Yeah. And how did you feel about the reactions from that? Because you were getting a lot of feedback. It was, uh, it was so much. You were like, I can't so, keep up with it. I'm it sorry, so guys. Much, like, like, so much, like, so much videos. Deep. It's videos still in my my inbox to this day that I couldn't get to because there was so much messages like so I do apologize to the people that I couldn't get to I, you wasn't overlooked or anything it was just that it was so much messages like plus you're trying to also drop it you know yeah, I mean? you're trying so to keep fast. up with the hype and the trend at the time so I, I think I give you full props for doing that I Thank appreciate you. that because you're not only giving females the route but you're also giving the females the drive right that's why I said females run the world Sorry guys, you know what I mean, it's just how it is. <laughs> I've already considered defeat because my girl, like you said, designing, like I can't control that. Right. You know what it is? <laughs> uh, so it's cool though, I just, I, I think it's beautiful because like, you know, it, it, you don't hear that. Like you said, when, to make it all start, you don't hear that often. At you all. You don't, so, um, I mean, not trying to be weird, but which one of the artists is someone that you kind of thought was like, dang, they snapped on it. Was it you or who do you think snapped the most on the cypher? On the cypher or yeah. like originally? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't really you don't got to answer. <laughs> I'm about I just to say been like, waiting to ask because you know sometimes you're like, dang, this girl really snapped. Yeah, She's I feel like all of them did the thing. Like yeah. we we played the cipher so like so many times in the studio afterwards. Like 
we was amp on everybody party. Everybody was amp and like we gave each other like flowers. Like you did that, you did that, you did that, you did like it was like it was a good experience. We had fun. Like we was drunk, we was vibing. Like yeah. you would think like we knew these girls like forever. Like some of us just had meet like during the cipher. Like we knew of each other, but we never been around each other. And we just like click, we click. Like we had a good time. It was a really really good time. That's awesome. I love to hear that. Remember guys, please network. I feel like that is the most important thing on doing, especially doing music. Right. You have to network and work together as one. Um, so I did want to just talk about that just for a brief moment, but I do want to also talk about your music. Um, so what do you got coming out soon? I know you just dropped the album, right? Mm -hmm. What was the name of that? Class Sensation. Yep. So how was that brought about and everything? Like, did you know you just make that one up out in the woodworks, or like how? Like what? Like the behind the scenes. Me, I never come up with none of my album names. Wow. Never. Man. I just always like. I let like my friends and my sister like I'll be like, what y'all think? Like what is it giving? Like and they go throw out names and I'll be like, okay, yeah, that one drive my attention. But I never name like none of my albums. None of them. I mean some like, people Like it's are, so hard to so name. You do album. the tracks and you spot. Yeah, you know, I I'll you know, write the music and I'll write the songs, but music like when it comes down to album and creating the album cover and everything, I always need help with that because like I wanna see what other people think versus me like of course i think like that's okay but like versus other people they'll be like no nope, mm, yep okay yeah, yeah. i know what you mean and yeah. you do gotta kind of do what the people want you right know what yeah. I mean? as much as you love doing what you want but I, there's a time and place for everything you right know? and that's what i feel about so what's been your favorite project off that album then or favorite song off that album um my favorite song class and session is i can't wait because it remind me of beyonce if i was a boy mm -hmm. like it's flipped the script so like that's like one of my favorite songs like that's a different side and like mm, pop out pop out just make me feel like yeah pop like, out yeah like pop <laughs> like, out like yeah i'm ready to pop out and pop my shit like yeah. i like pop out that's dope i like to hear that what do you have in the future like do you have any other like albums or anything coming out i know you said you don't really like do the work and all that but like more of like do you have a future of what you want to work on that makes sense too um i just really want to drop singles and videos yeah, i need to yeah. focus on videos now like I got so much songs. It's gonna be songs from like when I first start rapping. I'm about to put videos out because like, especially Baby Daddy. Like I have to do a video to that song because like that's my number one. Now I ain't got a video to that song yet. Like, mm -hmm. but that's my next project. Like, that's what I'm gonna do next. That's awesome. I like to hear that. Definitely music videos. I tell every single rapper this. Please, 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 please. If I was a rapper, y'all would hate me because like I would be dropping them every <laughs> Friday. As you should. And you know what I mean. As that's like should. how it is. But it's very important to do visuals because that's what people look at now. Yeah. Our mindsets are like peanuts, man. You know, so like you got to think faster and not and not not harder. So I don't know. That's just cool. I think it's the fact that um or not the fact that you're doing visuals too, but you're also living a life of like yourself. Right. Thank um, you. Um, in the present moment, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. because every time I check up on you and since we first started, you you always being yourself. Right? right. And then you're always with the crowd. I saw your performance not too long ago. You got to support. Yeah. You know, like that's cool because like that's what Charleston needs. Like we need more of that. You know. So. Right. Who do who do you see yourself doing future collabs with in the future? Like, who do you have in mind? And I'm not talking about locally. I'm talking about internationally. I'm talking about anybody. Like. I always say when I get in the industry, I'm going for Cardi B. Like I want to oh, do a song with Cardi cool. so bad. Yeah, like, that's like my first one. Like bring her in the studio. Like. I don't even know what I do. I probably pass out. Like I love Cardi. Like yeah, I love yeah. her. I, and to be like that, that's how I am a Wiz. But like I think it's, I think it would be more cooler to see the the mixture. Like it would be the Geechee and then Cardi B because she does have that kind of like, um, you know her lingo type. Yeah, deal. like, like different. Like yeah, really different. so. I think you could do it now. You shouldn't even try. Like, you should yeah. try and reach out. You'd be, you'd be really surprised. I know. You'd I'm hoping really for it. I'm manifesting it. Like, yeah. I love Cardi. Right. Um, so I do want to ask, though, um, how do you always wake up and be yourself? Like, what are ways that you make it set in stone that you're poor heavens? Like, what, what, solid, what solidifies that when you wake up? The people. Like, I go, my first thing, I wake up, you know, take care of business. But then like, I go on Instagram. And, like, I always have, like, every day... If not one, two, somebody's tagging me listening to my music. So it's basically like the people, like they keep me going, like, or like they'll be writing me, like, I have little kids that write me and be like, hey, and then when I write back, they'll be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you write back. So like that be like everything to me, like, I'm off the street from y'all, like, yeah. but they treat me like I'm like, a legend, you know, yeah, which you like, are. I, get, I was nervous when I first saw her because I'm <laughs> like, bro, listen, I've 
I've been waiting to get this interview for a long time, and it's because of what you've been doing. I feel like every time I see you, you're doing something. Right. You know what I mean? And I've had like 10, 15 people message me, yo, get poor on there. So it's like, I'm glad we finally got the meet. Me too. You know, Thank um, you. where can we find you on social media and stuff like that? What, what, what's your uh, socials? Do, what's Instagram. Your name Instagram underscore underscore poor official. Um, TikTok, poor Evans. Twitter, poor official. And that's about it. I don't really like Facebook like that. I be on and off. Like, mm -hmm. I don't like Facebook. Yeah, I mean, you just got you, you got to focus on one. That's how I feel, especially when you're doing music. But if I was, a, if you're doing podcasts, you have to do everything. Right. Basically. So, right. But that's cool. Um, I was gonna ask you, do you always like, you know, when you wake up, do you think that like this is what you want to do for the rest of your life? Like, do you want to solidify yourself as being a rapper for the rest of your life, or is mm -hmm. there something else you see yourself branching off to? I want to do everything, like yeah, like acting and stuff yeah. like that. I just was saying I want to be on a two B movie. I watch two B all day, every day. I would mind me on a two B movie, like. What I kind of would everything. you do like a suspense or would you do like a like what kind of what would you want to see yourself in? Like Dirty D, you know what yeah. Dirty D? Yeah, yeah I like I like stuff like that, like yeah. gangsters movies. I don't be a bitch like pulling out with a guy, and, yeah. you know, like doing some stuff like that. Like, poor yeah. Like that. <laughs> No, but the way that I'm like that, like I want to do like, you know. You should I'm, start. Yeah. Start now. If you right. learn how to do it now, I think you would perfect it. And um, not only perfect it, but when you get in five years, you got tides to be able to do stuff like that. Right. And now you're already in it and you're like, poor. You know? Yeah, I don't do You never see that rise of it. But <laughs> um, no, man, I think, is there anything else you want to go over? I felt like we talked about a good bit of stuff. I mean, we could probably still talk about a little bit more if you want. Would, you can. Yeah, what do you have in mind? Like, do you have like anything major coming soon? I know that you're talking about your album coming soon and all that. Do you have like a tour or anything coming in mind? Not yet. No, I'm um I'm independent. Yeah. Like I'm just me. So it's like it's not harder, but it's harder. Mm -hmm. Like I gotta do I do everything like yeah. You know, so I gotta like How do you manage that? That's why I come sometimes take breaks, like unnecessary well necessary but very unnecessary breaks. Because I have to get my mind right, like, you know, you still gotta be, like, I wanna be a rapper, I wanna be a mom, I still gotta be this, mm -hmm. I gotta be that, so, like, I be taking breaks, but, like, I feel like if I had, like, a scrum team behind me that's pushing me, jabbing me, like, go, 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 like, I would definitely go, but, like... Is, is that something you're looking for now? Mm -hmm. like, a scrum, like, I want a scrum team that just can focus on me, and only me, like... Let's go. Let's take off. Are you, um, I mean, I know you're probably looking for it, but have you, like, thought about doing kind of how you did with the Cypher thing, but with the... With your team, making a team. You know how you did all the six different videos? Yeah. You should do something with that, but like leading up to marketing a team. Well, I never thought about that. Let yeah. me try that. I mean, because you already did it with the Zyphers. So right. Let me like try that. Again. I don't mean to bring it up on camera, but. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> but no, I'm going to try that. I didn't know that. There's always it. ways to get, uh, you know, marketing strategies. Right. Especially if you already done something that worked. Right. You know, because that, that was huge. When I was following the whole movement because at the time I was low key trying to do a cypher too. Okay. Um, I was doing live performances. I did four of them. Um, I had to erase all of them because I got copyrighted from one of the live performances. So it was a learning experience. But, you know, it's, it's crazy to see that not only just females be of the males to it, because I know males tried it, but to be the first successful one. Yeah. Because it's reached like almost 100K. Yeah, it, did. Like it was that. going fast. I, was that? Like, I know we're bringing it back to what we talked about earlier, but like, I bet you woke up one morning and was like, whoa. Yeah, it shot like when we first dropped it, we dropped it like 9 o'clock that day. We were supposed to drop it at like 12, but we were just so excited. We all meet at the studio we watched the video and they're like we were like okay we about to drop it at nine bump it so like when we drop it it was like shooting like the numbers was going like so fast like instantly so we were like we was just like yelling at each other like oh like y'all see the numbers like oh my god like happy like we were so happy like and we still happy because like it's still doing what it's supposed to be doing like it's so Charting like it's still being talked As about. It like it's doing, it's doing. I good. actually know one, a few of the artists on there. I know Q Links, if that's that one, right? Mm -hmm. I know that's. I've known bro for about like two years, or no, about a year now, actually. Not even. Um, that, and then I'm trying to think about everybody else. Joy Giovanni's on there. Um, somebody else that I might know. There's a lot of artists on yeah, there. Yeah, it's Holy a lot. Now that I think about it. But that's cool. I think it's beautiful. And, um, you know, other than that, though, like, do you see yourself in five years being out of Charleston? Like, are you going to always stay in Charleston whenever you, you know? I want to move so bad, but it's just scary. Like, it's yeah. scary to, like, go a place and don't know nobody. But that's yeah. the best, but it's, like, it's still scary. It's still like, scary to have that, that back 
the back, uh, not the back, the backbone, yeah. Yeah. To be it's able scary. to call someone and be like, can you come help? My, my tire went flat. Yeah, like, and you, you have nobody. Call, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I thought about that. But it's just part of life and also your music career. Yeah. You know? and, and when you flourish the career to a successful height, it's like, I don't need to be in Charleston anymore. Yeah, I know. I'll be based in, that's why I tell everybody now, I'll be based in Charleston. Like, I'll always come back and do stuff here. But I'm probably going to take the podcast to, like, Kiowa and then move somewhere. Okay, I should, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? But I think it's dope. Um, I was going to also say, um, you know, when you started doing the music and all everything that you've been doing, how do you, like, always help other females? Because I know you, I mean, even males too, but how do you help other people? Is there ways that you help communities and... You know what I'm saying? It's a weird question, but I wanted to ask. Even in music, like, is there? Do you help anybody? Um, what do you mean, like, like social media wise? Like, do you teach people how to do certain things? Like, do you teach them how to get on the mic and rap? Or I never teach nobody like how to rap. Um, I have people like asking me about like lines. Like, say if they rapping and they get like um, what it is like a writer's block. They'll be mm -hmm. like, okay, what, what what would you say next? Mm -hmm. Like, I help like that. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Or like, you know what I mean though? Kinda. I mean, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying like what are ways that you help, you know, maybe people because I feel like you've been around so many people that you you at least help. It might be from your energy, it might be from you, you know, plugging someone in with the studio time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I don't do like a couple of shows for free, features for free. Like I don't charge for everything. Like I feel like if you're a upcoming artist like in Charleston and like you shy to come out and like you need me like oh poor jump on the song with me real quick just so I can like you know have a name out there I'll do it like right. off the strength like I won't be like oh you know like oh, I'm gonna charge you that's the thing the fourth like if it's making sense I'll do it right and definitely that's how it should be um do you got any big shows coming up or anything like that mm -hmm. we have a show um, Fredo Bangs right yeah, Fredo yeah Bang. that's gonna be show. awesome how you feel about that I'm ready yeah I'm ready. I like Fredo Bang yeah I haven't seen him in I he hasn't been to Charleston in a while. Uh um. -uh. Then it's like a Stone Soul picnic. Remember, like Stone Soul picnic? Yeah. That's like that. I always say like we need one of those. Like I keep saying that. I keep telling somebody like we need that Stone Soul picnic. Yeah. And now we got like one of those. So I'm really excited. Yeah. Outside, like. That's awesome. Like not only Fredo Bang, there's somebody else, right? Um, Boogie. Yeah, I was about to say. I, I know there's two big people on that. So that's exciting. Is it just them two and then the cipher and then that's it, or is there anybody else performing? I think some other people performing that we don't know about yeah i think so it's at the fairgrounds right mm -hmm. okay I'm when it, what's the date on that it's august 5th okay i think yeah definitely all right i like to hear that <laughs> i just want to make sure um, so that some people with our interest that would want to go but um where can we find your music on like is it on spotify apple music it's on everywhere right it's on all platforms okay. so you have to have p-o-r-a-a -A for two a's and right. everything will pop up Okay. Just want to make sure so that people can find your music too, because I'm yeah. I'm still kind of nervous. I ain't gonna lie, but <laughs> it's more of just showing people like I really do this, man. Like I really try to, you know, do the impossible. Like, you know, I was asking Pora, who do you know other podcasts around here, and like, it's not. I want it to be solidified. Who you, you know, like right. Rise of a podcast. Right. Like, I have to check in with Rise of a uh, Rise of a podcast to do a podcast. Like, that's what I want, or to learn how to do it. Okay, you yeah. You know, because I want to teach people. I want to have, like, classes to teach people how to ask questions. And I'm not there yet, though. Um, I still, you know, y'all probably nervous. I notice I'm kind of like, eh. But it's it's trial and error, you know? Right. And thank you for even being patient, for even thank hopping you. on, because thank it's you. been beautiful. Um, I'm glad you came on, and I feel like I, I, you know, I did my best ability to ask some questions, but is there anything you, you feel like good. I missed? No, you did good. Yeah. You did definitely good. I definitely want to make sure I hit on everything. It's harder than it looks, guys, especially when you meet people you've been trying to do for a long time. You're a natural. Like, you did yeah, good. Yeah, I tried. I tried. Thank you, though. <laughs> hey, but again, guys, I appreciate you guys for tapping in for Interview 68. I got the one and only, the local legend, Port. It's been an honor. Thank, Thank you for you. coming on. And remember, guys, stay true to yourself. The only way to achieve your dreams is through you, no one else. You got to get up every single day, and you got to grind harder than you did the day before, and the day before, and the day before that. Peace, guys.